Good afternoon and welcome. You know, I grew up watching Power Rangers. Power Rangers was the show I grew up in the 90s. As a kid, watching them, doing all these morphing abilities and seeing them facing evil it was, and seeing their Megazoids, you know, I always wanted the toys and the figurines. And not only that, I used, I loved them so much that I still know to this day as, like, I still know how to do the morphing ones. Like, how to do the morph, like, light speed rescue. Like, you do, like, light speed rescue. Or when you do SPD, you go, like, SPD emergency. Or when you do time force, like, time four, time force. And, you know, I mean, I grew up with Power Rangers. That was my livelihood. This anime I've watched, it came out yesterday, the same day as Fire Force Season 2. And by God, please watch Fire Force. I mean, people hated it, but still good. But this show that I, that was on my list of shows I was going to watch, and I said I was going to probably do a review on it until it gets my first interest. But when I saw this first episode, oh my God, this is ridiculous. So, this is not just an anime review. This is an OMG anime review of a show that took the, the childhood and I grew up with Power Rangers and they made a show that is driven the course of history like Super Sentai, Power Rangers, and now we got Super Super Hentai or Super HX Heroes. I'm, I'm not good with the name, but yeah. And it's like the storyline is funny in a way, like I get it. In a world five years ago, um, H E Eros, they used the power of H, Hechi, because of the sound of when you say Hechi, when you say Hechi, it's the H, H, and erotic powers, E R O, Eros. With the power of the H watches, they transform and they fight these libido bug type monsters that you see in One Punch Man. And, yes, yeah, there's some One Punch Man vibe here. And they, they stop these libido monsters by. And these libido monsters, insects, are draining the the sexual erotic energy from the guys and, and girls. Like, for example, when a boy gets energetic, so horny enough to see, like, for example, let's say they're horny enough to see their famous person, the monster drains the energy from them, and then it just like, uh, then it just like, uh, I'm bored, I'm out. See, it drains the sexual energy of it. Now, back... Now, the first episode of it, it starts up with childhood friends. Andro, Andro and Kyria. Andro's the red hair and Kyria's the blonde hair. First time looking at them, I felt like this is some food wars all over again. This is Shogeki no Soma. And I, what I mean is not by storyline-wise, but character-wise. Like, think about it. Soma has red hair. Nakina and has blonde hair. When you watch that clip, when you watch them, don't you feel that this is food wars? Don't you feel like it's Food Wars there? I mean, the manga fucked it up, but this right here, I can see where this is like, okay, are we seeing the part when they were childhood friends and they didn't know that they were, but they're, but, but they're after their childhood friends and then years later got distant apart. Because in the first episode, it explains what the monster did. The monster drains Kyria's sexual energy, the love for the main character, and that's why she's like, it's like a symbolism. It's, it's showing like an Iron Maiden thing where it's just all that love is locked inside and no way to embrace the love and this is why i said you could become a hero because this makes a lot of sense so Idro, he's not only he goes to school on a regular basis with her childhood friend but he's actually a freaking saitama red ranger legit red ranger and i'm like damn <laughs> He straight up one punch that bug like boom straight up one punch that bug and I'm like damn <laughs> and his clothes get ripped off and I'm like is this Hitman Reborn? Is this Hitman Reborn? Is this what we're getting at? So along the way he meets his uncle who wears tights kind of look like a professor type Pokemon professor and he and he's um like all Power Rangers, you gotta have the brains of the group. You gotta have someone who could teach these other five Rangers to do something. But as we get to the end, Kyria and Andrew this found this the same bug, and he punched it, but it didn't work out. But with the power of love of Kyria and Andrew, they feel this guy so good that they love literally one punch the bug. Literally just one punch the bug. Now I get it, the fan service. Don't get me wrong, I see where this is coming from. 
I see where this is coming from. We're bound to have the plot of it is gonna be there. The fan service. Like, okay, I get it. This is the first episode. This is uncensored. Like all anime shows, give it a few weeks and we're gonna see the uncensored version. And yeah, when they focus on the boobs that they got the star showing, okay. But I'm telling you right now, we're gonna get a we're gonna get to a point where we're just gonna see the uncensored version of them and the nipples. And I'm telling you that's because people are gonna like about it. Now, this is where the guy is a man of culture here. Not only he saved Kyria, and Kyria's now opened up to be with Andro, you know, being friends now. They, not just childhood friends, but the, the development of them being, not, uh, development of being childhood friends above and beyond. He lives with three other girls. This guy is not only a hero, but a man of culture. Let's get that out the way. He is diehard man of culture. And when I see him, when I saw him punching and then to love the girl and then living with three other, and he kept his cool, like, he's not even, like, I like how he kept it all, like, to the end, like, oh, they, the three, one of the girls said, oh, they, we live, we live, we live, uh, we live together. And it didn't even come to his mind, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, she, with her involved, does that make me... And he's a true harem this this summer. Like, I give him props. I give him props. I mean, he literally kept this cool. And I like how we were going with this. Like, not, not only childhood friend is the Yellow Ranger, but I like how they showed the opening, I mean, the ending, where they show, like, everybody's the part, everybody's a ranger. Like, he's the Red Ranger, obviously, because he's the, he's the leader. The Red Ranger's always a leader. And then you got the, the blonde hair girl who's the yellow ranger. Then you got the blue ranger, the pink ranger, the white ranger. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> when I saw this, I'm like, is this some Power Ranger vibe going on? I'm feeling it. I am legit feeling the Power Ranger vibe in this. It's really freaking good. Like, I don't even, like, okay, I don't mind the fan service. I don't mind the itchiness. But when something like this happened in a reference that, that, hit, that hit my childhood, like, Sailor Moon, you know how Sailor Moon, like, you got the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, the uh, Green Ranger, like, that, that hit me. So when I saw, uh, this, and I'm like, this is totally Power Rangers vibe. It's bringing the childhood to us, but in a fan service type way, which is funny to watch, and I like it. I like it very much. Now, I can tell you right now, every Power Rangers series we watch, no matter what series, Turbo, In Space, Lightspeed Rescue, Power Rangers Samurai, uh, SPD, Time Force, any show, any favorite Power Rangers series you know, we're bound to, I, I'm telling you right now, we're bound to have a Six Ranger. And I'm watching like this, and I'm telling you, you know what? You know what? In my head, we're going to have a Six Ranger. We're probably going to have a Mechazoid for this. And we're probably going to have Battleizers. I'm, I, I got this feeling we're going to do, they're going to take the ideas from every common Power Ranger method and put it on this H -E -A -H -X Eros. So, they call themselves the Hentai, I call themselves the Hentai Rangers. I want to see their pose like this. The Hentai Rangers! Hmm! 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 I feel it coming. I don't know why, but I'm going to tell you right now. I, wanna, I can't wait to see where they pose and do their transformations. Because like all Power Rangers, we're going to see transformations. So, when we see H X Hero soon. Later on, we're going to see them assemble and use their morphing abilities to morph into hentai rangers. <laughs> so, the super hentai rangers or something like that. I cannot wait to see more. So, I'm looking forward for episode two. I'm really looking forward for episode two. And like I said before, I'm not only I'm probably do well, I'm going to do a review on this for now. This, the Monster, the Monster Girl Doctor, and, and... Rent a girlfriend. So, so for now, those are the three shows I'm gonna do a review on. I'm not sure about the other one, but I'll see what I can. I'll see if it got my interest. But still, this is a great show to watch. It brings out the Power Ranger vibe to you and everybody else. So I look forward to it. So I look forward for episode two, and thank you for watching. Mm.